What's up everyone, it's Dave, and we're back for our next reading of the New Testament. For those who've been following along, you know that we are in the last chapter of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3. We'll be reading out of the New King James Version, if you want to follow along. If you don't have a Bible, you can get one for, um, uh, well you can read one for free. Um, at Bible.com, or you can download the Uversion app on Android and iOS devices. Or if you want to buy one, I do have some links down below. The first one is to the exact Bible that I have. Um, not the cheapest, but there are um, less expensive ones available if you're interested. Um, total of Make sure it doesn't carry on to the next page. Nope. Total of 18 verses. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to cover the topics of pray for us, warning against idleness, and the benediction. So if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified, just as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do what both that you do and will do the things we command you. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from us. I want to pause there one second where everyone talks about, you know, well, Jesus ate with the sinners, Jesus did this, Jesus did that with, uh, you know, with, with these bad people. Right here, it also says, withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from us. So be careful with who you hang out with. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow us, for we were not disorderly among you, nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and toil night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you, not because we have the authority, to make ourselves an, but to make ourselves an example of how you should follow us. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busybodies. Now those who are such we command and exhort through our Lord Jesus Christ that they work in quietness and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. And if anyone does not obey our word in this epistle, Note that person, and do not keep company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet do not count him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. The salutation of Paul with my own hand, which is a sign in every epistle. So I write, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. That is one more book of the New Testament down. We are getting into Timothy next. And just so that you have an idea, 1 Timothy has 6 chapters. And there is even one portion of a verse in chapter 5 that's in red. How cool is that? All right, so uh, when you hear from us again on here, it will be in first epistle of Paul, the apostle to Timothy. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have an amazing day and uh, that God blesses you in ways that you simply cannot fathom. And that when he does so, you will have no doubt in your mind 
that it is he who is doing it and not of yourself. God bless from Location X. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.